Hey guys, so today I was uh, thinking I should do my top five setting sprays. Actually, what inspired it was this new product I picked up at Riley Rose CNP Laboratory. Uh, I'm not sure, Mugner Ampule Mist. Actually, I picked it up uh, a couple weeks ago and actually now using it is kind of inspired. I'm like, I should do a video about this. And I thought, well, I haven't done my, you know, top five face mist, so I thought I would kind of combine them. So actually really really love this one uh the spray is super super fine so you won't have any uh like you know i you know like big globs like you definitely use this uh over your skincare or just kind of i i use it when i get out of the shower to kind of keep my face uh from getting dry uh usually like after you wash your face it's really important to keep it moist when you start applying your serums or toners uh, essences, it certainly helps keep the water content in your skin a lot easier. So instead of drying your face off completely and then starting your skincare, leaving it slightly damp helps. So when I get out of the shower, I usually start to apply my body lotion as fast as I can, but then by the time I'm done with that, my face gets dry. So I've been using this to kind of keep my face damp before I get to the uh, skincare part of my routine. So I thought I would uh, recommend this one highly. Really like it. No fragrance. Very fine mist. Uh, it works well to keep your skin hydrated. So that's one of my uh, new favorites. Another one that I recently found, actually a friend of mine uh, recommended to me, is the new Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Mist, which is available at Ulta is where I got it. But they have a set where you can get this and the uh, face cleanser for the same price as what the mist would be. So the full-size face cleanser is kind of free in a way. Uh, but anyway, this is also a very good one. No alcohol, no fragrance, pretty fine mist as well. Uh, works well to keep your skin hydrated as you're working on your routine. Uh, another thing I like to use with this one is in between steps of my routine, I'll spritz a couple spritzes here and there. So uh, this is also a very good one uh, that I really like. Uh, another one that I that I've been using for a long time is the CasaRx uh, Centella Alcohol-Free Toner. This one's a good one. I also like to spritz it on a cotton pad and wipe it over my skin as a toner, but it also works well as a face mist, and it's got that Sika plant in there, which is a good uh, beneficial ingredient for your skincare. So, and then this one obviously doesn't have alcohol, has no scent to it. So this one's also a very good one and also super affordable. Uh, I think it was $20 or $19. So this one's also a good one. I really like that one. Uh, an old standby, which always works for me, is the Clinique Moisture Surge uh, Mist. Uh, it works pretty well. It's got some good hydrating ingredients. If you have super dry skin, uh, you might gravitate more towards this one because it's a little bit more hydrating than the other ones. Uh, but really like it. Alcohol-free, fragrance-free, super affordable. It comes also in a little travel size. You can see I like to use the little bottle, so I've been filling it up with this one. But uh, this one's super good if you have very dry skin. You'll probably really appreciate it. So a good one as well. Uh, one that is just basically water, but it's a super fine uh, mist, is the Avene. And also Evian has one as well. Uh, but this one's also good. It doesn't contain anything else. So if you're not looking for anything other than just to keep your face damp and expose it to no other ingredients, this one is basically just water in a can. But... Uh, it comes in a lot of beauty boxes, and I've gotten a lot of use of, of it over the time. So, uh, But basically just water, but very nice for just keeping your skin damp. Uh, Caudalie also has one. It's their grape water, which is a little bit more than just water. It's got grapes in it, grape water. Uh, so if you have very sensitive skin or don't want to expose it to anything else, this one's a good one. Uh, sometimes when my routine is finished, I'll just give it a little spritz of this just to kind of liven things up. But overall, nothing else too exciting in the ingredient list. But uh, otherwise, this one's good. Alcohol-free, fragrance-free, another, another good one. Uh, and then the Tatcha is more of a luxury mist, uh, the Dewy Skid Mist. It does have a little bit of a light scent to it, but uh, it seems to work well. People uh, that I know with oily skin tend to really like this one as well. And uh, me with my dry skin, I still like this one. But if you have sensitive skin, you might want to be a little careful of it because it does have a little bit of scent in it, uh, which dissipates quickly. But the bottle is very fun. Uh, one thing I've used it for was to uh, refill it with other products that I really like that didn't have a good spritz on it. Uh, so, but this one's got the milky white uh, dewy skin mist. So that one's a good one. And then I've been asked a lot about the Mario Betiscu, uh sprays 
Uh, the brand has several of them. This is one of their newer ones. They've got their orange one, their aloe one. Uh, these are okay as long as you don't have sensitive skin because most of them contain a fragrance in them or uh, sometimes a fragrant oils. So if you don't have sensitive skin, uh, this one could be a good one. I bought this initially to try out, but it was just so scented. I just didn't really like it. And I've tried some of their other mists and a lot of people really like their sprays. Uh, but if you have sensitive skin, I would just be a little bit cautious with them because most of them, no matter which version you pick up, has a little bit of scent to it. So just be a little bit careful with that. But if you don't have sensitive skin and no issues with it and you like it, nothing wrong with that. Everything, uh, you know, everything different works for everyone differently. So I don't know if you guys can hear Ike in the background. He's got his... Actually, that's Lincoln's toy. I bought for Lincoln, but Ike keeps taking it from Lincoln. So anyway... So anyway, so I thought I should do that because I hadn't done my top five miss yet. So uh, definitely check any of these out. I think most of you guys will be happy with any one of these you select. Um, anyway, so uh, check out nobsbeauty.com. My shirts are up on Teespring now. So definitely check those out. And I will see you guys at the desk tomorrow for some more reviews. Thank you guys so much.